This is example 5, SOLIDWORKS Parametrics. The last thing we want to look at is the parametrics within SOLIDWORKS and this is relating to how models relate to each other and as well as to themselves. To demonstrate this I'm going to open the wheel by simply selecting the wheel and selecting open part. I'm now going to modify the overall diameter of the wheel. In previous lessons I will go into more detail as to how to modify part files but you'll see as soon as I modified this wheel the features that happen later in the feature tree automatically updated to match the changes that I made and this is what I'm referring to as parametrics. Now we'll also see if I were to control tab to my assembly however I'm not going to use control tab I'm going to select file window and tile horizontally and what this did is tiled all my windows that were open horizontally. So now I can see my jump truck open at the same time and you'll see that my assembly file asked me to rebuild and the tire changed within the assembly. If I were to toggle to my drawing, again you can see when I maximize the drawing that the drawing also updated to reflect the changes that took place within that individual part file. I'm going to simply add a dimension to this wheel and then I will go back and change my drawing. So I will control tab, sorry, go back and change my part. I'm going to return my part to its initial dimension and when it updates I'll return to my drawing and we can note that this dimension has updated to reflect the new diameter. Now we're off by 20 thou the simple reason for that, I'll delete that dimension and re-add my dimension. The simple reason for that is I had selected inside of the chamfer instead of the outside of my chamfer on that wheel. So I trust this is displayed how the parametrics within parametric solid modeling relate objects and continue to capture our design intent. Now throughout the series of lessons in the fundamentals course we'll learn how to generate models that properly update parametrically and capture our design intent. I hope that the lessons you begin to use will be a help in your quest to master solid modeling within the SOLIDWORKS design environment.